Hello there. As we head towards the end of April, it's certainly been a case of four seasons in one month. Last week we had temperatures of 29 Celsius, but to end the month it is much cooler than that and it's looking pretty unsettled with further spells of rain at times. So the system that brought the rain on Friday is this area of low pressure, which will be edging away towards the east during the day on Saturday, but it stays quite close to eastern England. So a cloudy day for much of England and Wales with some outbreaks of rain, particularly for some eastern areas, including Lincolnshire, parts of East Anglia, a few showers in the Midlands and perhaps southern England too. But further north, there will be more sunshine for the far north of England, Scotland and Northern Ireland, but a scattering of showers likely here too. Now temperatures will struggle just eight or nine degrees under the clouds through central parts of the country. 12 or 13 in any slightly brighter spells. And a Sunday, a similar day, again quite cloudy, the, especially the further south and east you are across England, with a cool breeze coming in off the North Sea. More sunshine and a few scattered showers for Scotland and for Northern Ireland. And temperatures, again, not doing great, just 8 or 9 under the cloud, perhaps 12 or 13 in some of the sunnier spells. But then as we head through Monday, you'll notice this area of low pressure moving in from France, heading its way into southern and eastern parts of the country initially and then pushing a bit further north. Now this deepening area of low pressure could well cause us some disruptive weather through the day on Monday with some heavy rain, strong winds likely to cause disruption with a potential for localised flooding and some snow on top of the highest ground too. Now the worst of the weather looks like it will be confined to parts of eastern England, southern England and into parts of Wales as well where it's particularly wet and windy. We could see up to 50 millimetres of rain here pretty cold as well, six or seven Celsius, but contrast that to further north where it's looking like a largely dry and quiet day for much of Scotland and for Northern Ireland. And then as we head through Monday night and on into Tuesday, that area of low pressure tends to start to ease away. It dies a death as the next front approaches from the Atlantic, but Tuesday will be a much quieter day, certainly compared to Monday's strong winds and heavy rain in the southeast. Still a few showers left on Tuesday, a front approaching the northwest later on in the day, but things will be drying up and just starting to warm up a touch with most of us back into double figures by the time we get to Tuesday. And of course, Tuesday is the start of May. So through the early part of May, it does look like we'll see weather systems moving in from the northwest and heading southeastwards across the country. So some patchy rain likely at times on Wednesday as this system pushes its way eastwards. And that'll be followed by something a little bit drier with some sunshine and a few scattered showers. But those temperatures just starting to creep up somewhere closer where they should be this time of year through the middle of the week. And then as we look towards the latter part of next week, the blue colours do eventually get pushed away and some welcome relief. It does look like some slightly milder air will start to move in from the west or even the southwest too. So higher pressure set to build late next week, particularly across southern and southeastern parts of the country. We could well keep the influence of slightly lower pressure towards the northwest. So but by the time we get to next weekend, Still the chance that it's going to be fairly breezy with some rain at times in the northwest, but it looks like eventually we're going to see something drier building in from the southeast with those temperatures on the rise too. So your summary for the next 10 days, it's cool and unsettled to start. Rain will tend to ease from the middle of the week and eventually we should start to see those temperatures warming up a touch. That's it for now. Bye-bye.